To Laipa Lupe Solio I Nioti Iono Shalile Malieli Goi is a Samoan politician who has served as the Prime Minister of Samoa and leader of the Human Rights Protection Party since 1998, and is Samoa's longest serving head of government. Tulaipa first entered parliament in 1981 when he won a by-election to represent the electorate of Leper. He also served as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance in the government of former Prime Minister Tofilawiti Alasana, and in addition also held the portfolios of Tourism and Trade, Commerce and Industry. Tulaipa was born in the village of Leper on the island of Upolu. He attended high school at St. Joseph's College in Lotoper and at St. Paul's College, Auckland in New Zealand. 55 He then obtained a master's from the University of Auckland, becoming the first Samoan to receive a master's degree in commerce. He worked for the European Economic Community in Coopers and Lee Brand before being elected to the Samoan Parliament in 1980. Tulaipa lost two relatives in the 2009 Samoa earthquake and tsunami including the daughter of one of his nieces. Most of Maliele Gaui's hometown of Leper, Samoa, was destroyed in the tsunami, leaving just the church and the villagers' welcome sign standing. Tulaipa was the deputy prime minister and minister of finance under Tofilau Iti Alisana following. The Human Rights Protection Party's return to power after the coalition government of Warai Kolon and Tupua. For a while he was both Prime Minister and Minister of Finance after Tofialu stepped down from the Premiership. However, following a cabinet reshuffle after the following elections of 2001 in which he led the HRPP for an additional term, Tulaipa relinquished the post of Minister of Finance to Misa Telefoni Retzlaff who also became the new Deputy Prime Minister. The reason given for Tulaipa's relinquishment of the Ministry of Finance was the amount of responsibility and work involved being both Prime Minister and Minister of Finance and to do the job properly required a full-time minister. Tulaipa has twice reassigned the finance portfolio since that time. Tulaipa first won election to represent his leper district in 1980. After the death of the previous representative, he has been re-elected for leper since that time. He served as finance minister in the Tofilau government of 1991 and 1996. In 1991, he was appointed deputy prime minister. In 1998, Tofilau retired from parliament due to ill health. Tulaipa then became the sixth prime minister of Samoa. He has successfully led his HRPP party to re-election in the 2001, 2006, 2011, and 2016 general elections. In 2012 Tulaipa became Samoa's longest-serving Prime Minister, surpassing the tenure of his predecessor, Tofilau Iti Alasana. As of 2021, Tulaipa is also the second-longest-serving incumbent Prime Minister in the world. Only behind Cambodia's Hun Sen, Tulaipa has emerged as one of Oceania's most vocal critics of Fijian interim leader Komodo, Frank Banimarama who came to power in the 2006 Fijian coup d'etat. Tulaipa has stated that Bani Marama has shown little respect for the opinions of regional Pacific leaders. Tulaipa has said that Bani Marama's actions since the 2006 coup have shown that Bani Marama has no intentions of returning Fiji to democratic rule or holding transparent free elections. Tulaipa cites numerous actions by Bani Marama to back up his criticisms including rescinding assurances to leaders at a regional meeting in Tonga that elections would be held in May 2008. He has also criticized Bani Marama as a no-show at regional meetings of the Pacific Islands Forum. In New and Papua New Guinea, Tulipa has said that Bani Marama's failure to compromise, hold democratic elections and meet with regional leaders is not the Pacific way. In a February 2009 continuation of the war of words between Banimarama and Tulaipa, Banimarama accused Samoa's foreign policy of being dictated by New Zealand. He also accused Tulaipa of being unpacific. Tulaipa fired back, questioning whether Banimarama was sober when he made these claims and reiterating that Banimarama shows little respect for Pacific leaders. In late 2011, Tulaipa initiated a meeting of Polynesian leaders which led in November, to the formal launching of the Polynesian Leaders Group, 
a regional grouping intended to cooperate on a variety of issues including culture and language, education, responses to climate change, and trade and investment. The group was in part a response to the Melanesian Spearhead Group. In June 2017, the Samoan Parliament passed a bill to increase support for Christianity in the country's constitution, including a reference to the Trinity. Article 1 of the Samoan Constitution states that Samoa is a Christian nation founded of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. According to the diplomat, what Samoa has done is shift references to Christianity into the body of the Constitution, giving the text far more potential to be